What's good, YouTube? Hit man X. Make sure y'all hit that like, hit that sub, show your boy some love. Just wanted to speak on this game real quick, man. Great game seven uh, from the Boston Celtics and Toronto Raptors, man. That game went exactly as I expected it. Um, I kind of sort of had the Raptors winning, though. No lie. Kind of had the Raptors winning, but it was like a 50-50 game. And um, it went just as expected. Marcus Smart, man. I'll tell y'all, man, y'all, a lot of people sleep on the intangibles. Uh, without that block, without his defense down the stretch, the Boston Celtics lose this game, man. Uh, so I got to give a special shout-out to him, man. Uh, Jason Tatum, who I ain't got the stats on me right now. I'm, I'm at work right now, so I'm trying to knock this video out real quick. Um, the Boston Celtics get to the Eastern Conference Finals again. Um, it's crazy because... This is the second time they went to the Eastern Conference Finals without Kyrie, man. Maybe that's the problem. You did. That's why I don't have uh, not Boston, but uh, that's why I don't have the Nets really doing anything unless they get more help because I don't I don't trust Kyrie in the playoffs. You know, not as your number one option. Now, KD of course is gonna be the number one option, but um, the Nets, the Nets, I don't know, man. I just. The way that team is devised, I like Steve Nash, though. Don't get it twisted. I like Steve Nash as a head coach there, but um, I don't know, man. I just, But this ain't about the Nets. Um, like I said, great game by the uh, Boston Celtics. The Toronto Raptors, um, I wouldn't say they choked, but they faltered down the stretch. Uh, Norman Powell did, did what he could to keep them in. But um, when you're a star player, is young and not really – Polished like that in the playoffs, like Pascal Siakam is. Um, it's, it's hard to win games, you know. Like, I can't knock their, their effort, their fight, their energy. But at the end of the day, uh, Pascal Siakam is not ready to be that number one option to take you over the hump. You know, I like Pascal Siakam going going forward, like his future. But um, he's just not that guy that's going to take you over the hump. You know, this is a game they really needed Kawhi Leonard. You know, but um, I wouldn't go as far to say, oh, they're not going to be the same without him. I'm not going to go that far because, like I said, I went looking at their salary cap. <clears throat> they got a lot of money coming off the books next year. If I'm not mistaken, they got like, what, almost $40 million coming off the books, if not more. So they'll have some, some flexibility to convince a superstar to come there pretty soon. Um, I feel like they need to re-sign Fred Van Vliet. That has to be the the first thing they do. They have to re-sign him. I'm not sure if they re-sign Serge, but they gotta re-sign one either. They have to they have to bring him back too for for a cheaper deal. See, one of those two players have to take a pay cut in order for them to con continue to be competitive and have the flexibility to sign a free agent in the off season. But um, I'll do a breakdown on their salary cap um, later because, like I said, I gotta. I gotta push these videos out real quick because I gotta head to work. But uh, Hitman, that's all I got. Shout out to the Boston Celtics. I got them losing to the Miami Heat though. I got them. The Miami Heat just on a whole nother mission, y'all. You did. Like I said, I like the Celtics, man. They got a young core, but they're not. I don't think they're ready for what what, what Miami's gonna bring to them. That defense is suffocating, and we about to find out. You are gonna see a lot of people hopping on Miami soon. But uh, Hitman, that's all I got. Hit that comment section. Let me know how you feel about this. I'm out of here.